uh, there's some visuals now being released uh, by government sources, uh, we're told. Um, my colleague Akhilesh joining us on the phone line at this point. Akhilesh, explain to us what we're seeing over here uh, and uh, uh, what, what more we know at this point. Uh, these are the pictures of the Balakot training camp, which has been described since morning that how well established the structure this was. It was not an ordinary camp, you know, which we see in the Pakistani occupied Kashmir, which are used as a launch pad to infiltrate terrorists into Indian territory. But these, this was a facility which was a well established facility. It had all the kind of facilities, modern training equipments were there. There was a swimming pool, there was a, uh, all kind of uh, shooting ranges were there. And these were very well uh, maintained facility. And uh, they, the pictures uh, which have been released to uh, to the media suggest very clearly that uh, you know the when you uh, step on the building, there are uh, Israeli flag, there is UK flag, there is US flag on the step. So the message was very clearly given by, to the terrorists, you know, the countries which has to be hated. And uh, in that sense, uh, uh, these pictures very clearly established that how fortified, how well maintained this structure was. We've been told by uh, government sources that this, this picture should be shared uh, to the opposition leaders when they meet uh, uh, an hour from now. And uh, Defense Minister Nirmala Sitaman will be there in the meeting. Home Minister Rajnath Singh, Finance Minister Arun Jetli, Minister of, of External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, all these leaders will be there in the meeting to share all these pictures. The dozier has been prepared, that the kind of facility which has been targeted by the Indian Air Force this morning. And uh, why it was important to target this facility? Because it was working right under the nose of the Pakistani government for so many years. And it was a well-established, well-structured uh, facility which has been training so many terrorists which were which was sent to not only to India but to other countries as well. Okay, Akhilesh, uh, you know, this of course establishes, uh, you know, what Balakot was being used for, uh, its facilities, the number of people who are being trained there and, 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 and so on. It, it, it gives us those background details. But in the light of uh, uh, what we've been hearing from Pakistan, uh, you know, dismissing uh, what India has said is fictitious claims and so on, um, are we getting any indications about whether there's going to be any foot footage released of the actual strikes themselves? I think so. I mean, uh, we, we, we will be uh, getting all the details uh, uh, quietly, but, you know, they, uh, the government of India decided that this has to be dealt uh, at the level of the diplomatic uh, uh, level, you know, because they feel that Pakistan first it released the uh, information that India, uh, Indian Air Force had entered uh, Pakistani airspace and uh, tried to, you know, uh, bomb uh, this facility. And after they were chased, they were uh, they went uh, uh, they went out of the Pakistani territory. But later, Pakistan, you know, uh, came out, and then there is now a lot of hue and cry within Pakistan. There is a demand to call a special session of parliament to discuss uh, pa India's declaration, what they call, and also uh, there is a demand that uh, Pakistan should retaliate. So Indian government is now asking and telling the diplomats coming uh, to meet uh, the foreign officials in uh, uh, South Bloc that look, uh, Pakistan first denied any kind of uh, existence of this terrorist. Uh, the structure in their country, in their territory, and now they are saying that, you know, that India has attacked them. So Pakistan has to choose one side. I mean, either they have to say that India has attacked, uh, then they have to realize and they have to admit the existence of this terrorist facility. Okay. So India is now mounting uh, diplomatic pressure, on not only in Pakistan, but other countries also, saying that, you know, whatever India has done, the step has been taken for self-defense.